I'm from the United Kingdom. Here, last year, we lost 26.3 terawatt hours of electricity. That's enough to power 7 million homes. It also contributed 1.5% of the country's CO2 emissions. What is puzzling is that huge efforts have been made in generating power more efficiently and consuming it more effectively. But not very much seems to have been done about the bit in the middle. My name's Dominic Quennell and I lead the team at Enotechnos. Over the past four years, we have worked on a new kind of cable that we call Capacitive Transfer System, or CTS. Instead of bundling copper or aluminium strands together to form an ohmic cable to transfer most of the power from one end to the other, we have rearranged what are largely the same components to make a long linear capacitor. The maths of cable losses is pretty straightforward. There's resistance, which can be mitigated by building bigger cables, but that's very expensive and doesn't help with the other problem. And the other problem is reactance. This can be counteracted by capacitance, design the right amount of capacitance into the cable, and the reactance is largely cancelled. With the CTS cable, we've shown that we can deliver lower losses, more power, and a better power factor. We've been awarded a substantial grant by the UK government as lead company in a group of four companies and institutions who are collaborating to do the final testing and to bring the CTS to market. We have an agreement with one of the UK's leading distribution network operators to install a 15 kilometer stretch of CTS in their grid in the second half of this year. The cable and line market is huge. First, because there are 67 million circuit kilometers of line and cable installed on the planet. And second, because it's an asset that has to be replaced every 30 to 50 years. In 2017, the market was worth $62 billion globally. In 2020, it's forecast to be worth 90 billion. CTS has been designed so that it can be made on standard cable making machines. Our initial manufacturing partner, Grupo Cabalte in Porto, Portugal, is making the cable on unmodified equipment. The insulation and shielding is exactly the same as for conventional cable. We are only changing the layout of the conductor. Applications include national T&D grids, private wire networks and rural microgrids, links to isolated loads such as island or mining communities or outback farms, and subsea power from shore links to offshore oil and gas platforms government mandates on the prohibition of petrol and diesel only vehicles by 2040 will place a huge burden on grid reinforcement. Bloomberg research indicates that by then there will be over 400 million electric vehicles in use and they will require 2,700 terawatt hours of energy. That's over 10% of what the entire planet consumed just two years ago. We did a study on a typical 450 megawatt offshore wind farm Using CTS as the export cable meant that the additional power delivered to the grid from just that one farm would be enough to deliver 6.9 million charges for a small EV. Enotechnos is just about ready to launch. What we're seeking are forward-looking commercial partners who are going to help us to realize the potential of this invention. We've raised 2.7 million pounds from private investors over the past four years, and we need another four million pounds to bring this product fully to market, tested, certified, and ready to go. We're looking for partners who will work with us on the early implementations to prove the value of CTS in a number of different applications. T&D grids, long isolated feeders, wind and solar farms, offshore oil and gas platforms. Anywhere, in fact, that delivering more power from the same generation source makes sense, and that's everywhere.